about something that we called a voltage clamp. And we said that we used this to control voltage. Mm -hmm. Voltage. And measure current. Right. So let's talk about how that works. What a good idea. How yeah. does that work? <laughs> okay, so let's start with the concept of an amplifier. So if you could draw me an amplifier, you need a positive input and a negative input. And let's say that on the positive input you have V plus coming in, and on the negative you have V minus coming in. You have a gain for the amplifier, which we we'll call A, which is how much it makes things bigger. Mm -hmm. And then you have an output, which is just the output voltage V0, or V0. So VO, the output voltage, is you multiply the gain, A, times the difference between V plus minus V minus, right? That difference is what you multiply. So if V plus and V minus are equal and opposite, what is V, v zero? Zero. That's right. Nothing comes out. Okay, so that's the idea of an amplifier, a differential amplifier. Okay. If you take the differences between the inputs, that's what gives you, multiplied by the gain, gives you the output. So now let's say you wanted to mem membrane, measure membrane voltage. So let's draw a, a schematic squid giant axon. I'm just going to draw a giant cell, just to simplify things. Uh, we do really want to have the cylinder. Do you want to have the axon? Yeah, we do. Okay. The space clamp is not going to work otherwise. So okay. So we want it to look like a tube or something, right? A tube, right? Yeah, just like that. Okay. So when Hodgkin and Huxley, after they invented the, the voltage graph, it was actually first invented by K.C. Cole, but then they adopted it for their own purposes and built their own. And what they did was they put a huge wire right through the middle of the squid giant axon, which was big enough that you could do that. And they that went to the, input, to the positive input of an amplifier, one amplifier. And the negative side, they hook to ground, which is effectively zero voltage. And that's this, large and then some, a smaller and then smaller line. Right, OK. And now the output of that is just going to be the membrane voltage Vm. So that's how you measure the membrane voltage. OK, now they needed to control the membrane voltage. They want to be able to put in a command voltage and they wanted to be able, if they could, to keep it at a certain value. So you're going to make this larger and put something else in? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Bigger okay. axons, we can do funner things. All right. It. So in that case, the input, you're going to have another amplifier, which is now going to face towards the membrane, because we're going to take its output to run the membrane. One input is going to be, the positive is going to be called V command. That's where we want the membrane voltage to go. And the other is going to actually be Vm, which is just an output from this, exactly. Right? And then that has, through a resistor, that goes into the another wire that goes right into there. And that injects a current. Now, if V command and Vm are equal, what current is injected? None. Exactly. If you change the command voltage suddenly, very rapidly, because there's a big difference, there'll be a big current injected that will pull Vm to be equal to V command. So that'll happen very quickly. Mm -hmm. Now let's say the membrane voltage dependent uh, sodium channels start to open and you start to have inward currents flowing through the membrane. So inward arrows? Let's say inward arrows and flowing in. They would try to depolarize the membrane. As soon as the membrane voltage starts to shift the difference between V command and Vm is no longer zero. And so it would increase and you would inject current. An opposite current that would prevent that from happening. Draw like little arrows. Yeah, going in the other direction. And you can measure that amount of current that you're injecting across the resistor with another amplifier. Actually, that, mem that input current is the current of, that the clamp has to inject, and that's what you measure. Okay, so we're controlling voltage with our V command, 
and, and measuring, measuring the current across this resistor. Exactly, and that is a negative feedback loop that prevents the positive feedback loop from working that ordinarily generates the action potential. And now there are two conventions you need to know, which is that inward current uh -huh. Uh -huh, is represented as a downward deflection on the voltage clamp record. So if you have a current record, you will see if zero is nothing. Do you want me to draw that? Yeah, let's draw that. Okay. That's zero. That's zero. This is current. That's current. This is time. That's time. If zero is nothing going on, if there's an inward current, you'll see a downward deflection, and that means depolarization. That's depolarization. And if you see an outward current, right, an outward current, that is a hyperpolarization. Okay. Okay. So it kind of works like um, the ions in the cell. Mm -hmm. So if the sodium ions moved into the cell, that would it depolarizes. depolarizes. And if the sodium ions move outwards, it or, hyperpolarizes. Or the, if the potassium ions move out, that would hyperpolarize. Okay. Okay. That's the basic idea of the voltage. That makes sense. So 